Welcome back to our rich YouTube channel. Today's class will be learning how to make this lovely pattern cow boo boo dress. It's a, like a hi hello boo boo as you can see, and it has this beautiful cow effect on the sides. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So for this boo boo captain, I'm going to be using this satin fabric but you can use any fabric of your choice you can use crepe you can use chiffon okay so my fabric is folded into four and i'm working with a fabric of two and a half yards okay so i'm just going to explain how to fold it using a paper so i'm going to assume this side to be my yard okay which is two and a half and then this side is going to be my length and the length of this fabric is around 60 inches okay so i'm going to be cutting the front and back together and i'm not going to be having any size any seam line on the shoulder which means the shoulder is going to be cut together as well so if you want yours to be separate you can cut it separate but it's not necessary so i'm going to, i'm trying to reduce sewing as much as possible on this dress so the sewing is just going to be probably on the side and it's as simple as that so now to fold my fabric i'm going to fold my fabric into two by the yard okay so i'm folding it into two like this and then after folding it into two i'm going to fold it into four in such a way that this side that i have my length is going to be the the side okay you can see the length that's going to be the side and the side where i have my yard that is this one half is going to be the length of the dress okay so this is exactly what i have here my fabric folded into four i hope you can see that okay so this is the fold point for both the front and back so the next thing now is to create the first thing you need to know is your shoulder measurement the shoulder i'm working with actually is 14 inches 14 divided by two that's going to give me seven inches so i have seven inches here but if you check the thumbnail you notice that the handhold doesn't start on the shoulder it has just like a little extension so for that extension it could be one inch could be two inches depending on where you want your arm out to be i'm just going to add extra two inches to that and i'm going to leave it as that so this is going to be my new shoulder point that's my whole shoulder that's seven inches plus two inches which brings me to nine inches okay so i'm marking this point as my shoulder hope it's feasible then after that you're going to take your arm hole measurement okay so the hand hole that i'm working with is 14 inches as well but i don't want it too wide so i'm just going to leave it at six or six and a half inches but if the person you're working with is as a wider ham or please you can consider making it seven inches instead so six inches is fine for this particular size so i'm leaving my ham hole at six inches so the ham hole is from where the shoulder stops to whatever length you are using for your ham hole which is this okay so now i'm going to leave that and then work on my neckline so this is like a boat neckline which the width is usually wider than the depth so for my width i'm going to be working with a width of around four or four and a half inches and then the depth for both the front and the back is going to be the same so i'm working with three inches for my depth so now i'm just going to connect this there's not going to be any shoulder slope here because like i said i'm not going to be joining the shoulder together but if you want yours to be joined together you can include your shoulder slope so here i'm cutting out my neckline and then as a guide like you can get the midpoint of this this armhole okay six inches tops here i'm looking for my chalk okay so i'm just going to get the midpoint of six which is three so the six inches actually stops there which is three inches and at that point you can just go in by half an inch and then you use that to create it like a mini hamper like that so after that now i'm going to cut out my hamper i'm just holding this with my pen so that it doesn't fall apart so now this opening here is where the arm comes out from so if the person has a wide wide um bicep 
you can increase that so now the next thing is for us to work on our length so remember that i used to have yards for this so it automatically means that the length that i will have is just this one half inches divided by two okay because remember the yard two and half sorry two and half yards we divided into two, two so now i'm just going to measure what i have here and the total length that i have is just around 44 45 inches which is fine because this is a cow dress remember the ham is going to come out from here so once your ham come out from from this opening that you have here this side this leftover that you have here is going to drop like this to form your cow and it's also going to increase the length the total length that you're going to have so it's no longer going to be 45 inches for the sides it's going to be longer than 45 inches so if you don't want yours to be sweeping the floor you cannot use your actual length measurements by the time we finish this you understand what i'm trying to say better once your ham comes out from this ham hole that you created remember the ham hole is on the side now it's on the starting area now so all of this extra that you have is going to drop and it's also going to contribute to the total length that you're going to be having on your side so the last thing i'm going to do now is to create that that like v-shape that high low effect that we have in front you can have videos in both front and the back but i'm just going to be having mine in front so now i'm going to measure where i want this to be from my shoulder i'm going to take a measurement of where i want this opening to start from so for me i want the ammo to be around the knee area which is around 40 inches so from my starting point which is the shoulder i'm going to measure 40 inches downwards okay if you want yours above your knee you can just work with maybe 38 inches totally up to you and what you want so this is where i have my 40 inches okay i hope you can see that so the next thing now is to connect this 40 inches to my side okay so if you want it to have be on both your front and back you can cut them out together but i just want it on the front so now i'm just going to slant this from where i measured it which is 40 inches i'm going to slant it to meet the side because i'm going to cut the front and back together so once it's meet like this let me just turn it like this so you can see what we have so i'm slanting from here to the side so once you slant from here to the side like this if you are cutting for both front and back you just cut it but because i just want it for the front so i'm just going to raise this up now and remove my back so after removing the back i'm going to take the front together again and then i'm going to cut out this shape so that is all you need to do you can see it is very simple to cut this okay so after cutting it i'm going to bring everything together and remove my pins so after opening it up this is what we have this is one of the hand hole this is the neckline and this is the other arm hole and this is the extension we're talking about so the only sewing that i'm going to do now is to join this side that's the open part on this side so i'll go ahead now and join it then after sewing it i'm going to pipe the hand hole area the neckline and also the hem so basically that's all you, you need to do i'll join this now and bring it back to show us what we have okay so i've sewn it on this side as you can see so you just need to pack up on the neckline or also the end line so now we'll take it to the mannequin for this is what the front looks like you can see that it is a bit higher than what we have on the back so now this is not going to be so long because we use just two and a half inches and then you know that we folded it by the yard to, to two and a half yards sorry and you know we folded it by the yard to get our length so if you want yours to be dropping down on the floor you can use three yards or even three and a half yards if you want it to be sweeping so now i'll take this to the mannequin so that we can see what this looks like okay so this is what the bubble dress looks like you can see the kino neckline that we have there and you can see the length in front so it's just on my knee and then the slanting just goes like that so you can see the length let me turn the length for the back for you to see so you can see that the back is longer than what we have in front so if you want your back to be slanted as well you just turn, turn slant in this exact same way we slanted for the front and you can see the cows that we formed on this side that's because once you bring out your hand the excess that you have there is going to drop down it's going to increase the length that you have and also form some cows here for you 
so for the shoulder remember when we measured our actual shoulder i added extra two inches to it because i don't want this arm opening to be exactly on the shoulder point so if you want yours to be longer than this like i said you just need to use around three years but this length is just perfect for me i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye